Hello out there to you. In this video, we're going to uh, solve this monopoly problem using a table instead of a graph or a function. So uh, we've got a firm has some kind of monopoly power. This is the table that represents demand. This right here, this is demand. So you could uh, graph that relationship if you wanted to. Uh, we don't need to, but uh, you could if you wanted to. Okay, total revenue. Fill this in. This is price times quantity marginal revenue this is the change in total revenue divided by the change in quantity now in this particular problem if you look the change in quantity is a change by five so uh, each time we're going to be dividing by five whatever the total revenue is Okay, whatever the total revenue change was. And then marginal cost, we're going to do the same thing. Marginal cost is the change in total cost divided by, I'm writing the proper formula here, divided by the change in quantity, which is just going to be the change in total cost divided by five. Okay, so actually we could do that one first. Why not? Uh, the change here is 35. 35 divided by five is seven. The change here is 40. Uh, 40 divided by 5 is 8. The change here is uh, 45, and that's a change of 9. And the change here is 10. OK, so there's our marginal cost. Uh, we're just working through here. Uh, down here, it says maximize profit. We need to find the quantity where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So we already did marginal cost. Uh, total revenue is going to be 15 times 20. Okay, well, 15 times 20 is 300. And 19 times 20 is 380. 380. I always wonder, you know those videos where they just hit a button and they all pop down? I just wonder if I should change to that instead of watching me do calculator work. I don't know. Uh, 450. I suppose maybe it's better to be organic. 17 times 30 is 510. And 16 times 35. You know, just in case you were on a test and you had to fill this in with a regular calculator. What was that? 560. 560. Okay, so now uh, marginal revenue is the change in total revenue divided by the change in quantity. So here to here, that's 80 divided by 5, uh, which I think I spent some time in the sun today. Yeah, 16. Okay, here here is 70 divided by 5, which is 14. And then 60. Divided by 5, I'll bet it's 12. Just want to make sure. And this one is 50 divided by 5. That one I can do with my head. Okay. So uh, what we want to do, whenever marginal revenue is higher than marginal cost, we're going to compare these two columns, we want to produce it. So this one is 16. This is 7. We want to do that. Uh, this one is 14. This one is 8. We want to do that one. This one is 12, this one is 9, we want to do that. This one is 10, this one is also 10. So we want to produce everything. So how many should they uh, produce? They should produce 35. And what price, that's the quantity here, what price should they charge? They should charge 16 because that is the corresponding price to 35 units. Okay, how much profit will he make? Um, I guess it's a, it's a man, baby. Uh, how much profit will he make? Okay, so total, just going to compare total revenue with total cost. 560 uh, minus 500, that's 60. That's reasonably easy. And then suppose the government puts a $40 tax on the production of good X. What should, um, what price should the monopolist charge? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to add per week okay so e 
each each week we're just going to add 72 to that so i'm going to erase and erase that and so now i want total cost plus i'm going to put lowercase t for tax okay so this would be 370 this would be 405 this turns into 445 490 and 540. Okay, now we need marginal cost with tax. So we're going to do the same thing. So this is 35, uh, and then we're going to divide by 5. Oh, that doesn't change. And then this is, okay, 8. Oh, so it's like a trick question, but we did need to work it out um per week so that's this is basically like a fixed cost so how many units do we sell uh we still sell uh 35 what price are we going to charge we're still going to charge 16 and how much profit will will we make instead we're only going to make 20. so it's kind of a similar problem so uh, you'll see this on a test this is a fixed cost and that isn't going to change marginal cost but I proved it anyway. Uh, and, and then if it said if it said like a per unit, like a two dollar per unit, that will change this. And then that would that would potentially change how many units they would produce because this profit maximizing case is what we're after. Okay, there you go.